Music Man, Niall Horan speaks with a VIP about touring, celebrity pals, and rumored band reunions. Niall Horan's arrival in Ireland for a brief holiday resulted in a hectic 24 hours for him. In fact, all happened so quickly that he didn't even have time to drop by Mullinger to visit his family. I'd see everyone if I had more time. Even though you're only an hour from home, it's difficult, he assures us, I'll be back over the summer. He has spent the previous 10 years living on the road. He has performed in front of millions of people in the biggest stadiums and venues all over the world since becoming a global celebrity in 2010 with One Direction. Now that he is on his own, his solo career is thriving once more and his third album, The Show, has been released. To commemorate, he played a small show at Fuel on Camden Street for about 50 people, then joined us for coffee the next morning for a catch-up. Niall discusses music, mental health, and famous friends in this interview. Of course, he also addresses the persistent 1D reunion rumors. Wow, I'm great. Last night, I went out for two pints in the city. I needed a Guinness because I travel frequently and the food isn't always wonderful elsewhere. I refrained, though. I would definitely see everyone and then go home if I had more time. Even though you're only an hour away, it's difficult, but I'll return over the summer. Since I'm in a good place right now, I figured that I could write about the ups and downs of life when I'm not creating songs about heartbreak. A significant component of it was the way the world was going at the time I was composing the record. We were helpless when the epidemic struck and we lost all power, we were like deer caught in headlights. What to do, we had no idea. In the show, I assert that if everything were constantly simple and in perfect working order, how would we ever realize how fortunate we are? I was inspired to write the rest of the song by that statement. No, don't honestly anticipate anything else. It has the fastest beats per minute by a factor of roughly 100. I often write ballads about my anxiety since that's the beat of what's happening in your thoughts at the time, but I felt I needed to create something faster. However, the album doesn't contain a lot of that.